Today, I'm going to discuss the allowable strength design of a reinforced concrete cantilever slab based on e-structural design Tai Chi, found on the App Store. The input parameters required to design a one-way cantilever slab are as follows. Name of slab, like CS1, CS2, length of span, slab thickness, size and grade of main bars and temperature bars, the strength of concrete used, and design loads, which includes dead loads and live loads. Given the FC prime and FS, solve the balance section properties of the reinforced concrete design like N, the modular ratio of elasticity, K, the height of neutral axis expressed as fraction of the effective depth, J, the length of internal moment arm expressed as fraction of the effective depth, and R, the factor for resisting moment in concrete. Get a total uniform load expressed as one foot strip by summing up the following. Self-weight of slab equals to assumed thickness multiplied by 12.5. Live load from minimum occupancy load guide. Floor finish and partition, if any. Based on the input parameters, balance section properties, and the total design load, solve the following. M. Bending moment. D. Effective depth of section. And T. Overall slab thickness. After we solve for bending moment and slab thickness, Get the area of steel required for main bars and its equivalent bar spacing. Continue solving the area of steel required and bar spacing for the temperature bars. And finally, we test for shear and bond stress by solving shear force and shear stress where the design shear stress should be less than the shear stress capacity of concrete and the design bond stress should be less than the bond stress capacity of concrete. Design format as follow. Design criteria, length of span, slab thickness, main bars, temperature bars, and optional bottom bars for span greater than 6.5 feet. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel.